welcome back, y'all, to another episode of Plant Yeah, that's right. I'm your Captain Edward Teach, and this is my vessel, the Queen Anne's Revenge. And we're going to be sailing the high seas today looking for what? Free plants. And how are we going to get them? Landscape debris piles. That's right, y'all. Today is landscape debris pickup day in our community, so we're going to sail around in our golf cart here looking for free plants. We have a tropical storm moving through the state of Florida, central and south Florida right now. Uh, it's raining outside. We got kind of a break in the rain. And we haven't heard any thunder or lightning um, for a couple hours. I haven't heard any all night. So Teddy and I are going to get going down the road real quick and uh, hopefully miss the storm on our adventure. We also have to get going quick because somebody else is out to get the plants. Who is it? British Royal Navy. The British Royal Navy, a.k.a. the Waste Management Landscape Debris Trucks. They'll come along and crush up all of our plants. We don't get to them first so we're gonna get going down the road here and we'll get back with everybody when we get something good all right we're cruising down the road here yeah. it's raining pretty good luckily we have this killer hand operated windshield wiper hey kiddo yeah without it i don't know what we do i don't know what we would do either. it's spreading it around for yeah, us this is hey. great oh this is awesome so we will definitely be in okay shape with that all right, we just rolled up on our first find. What is it, kiddo? Some gold capella chaflera and some clusia. Yes, so both of these can be rooted from cuttings. Let me show everybody that one real quick. That's the gold capella chaflera. And then what you got, clusia. This is also called the autograph plant. Let's see it. This is a beautiful one, can be rooted from cuttings. Kind of looks like a giant succulent. So we will save both of those from the trash for sure. All right, I just flew past this, but Teddy spotted it. What you got, buddy? Tea plants and I thought they were pawn fronds, but dracaenas. Nice. So both this is the red sister tea plant and the dracaena. Both of them can be rooted from cuttings. So we will save these from the trash for sure. All right, it's so rainy we can't see anything. So Teddy's got his head out the window like a dog in a car <laughs> looking for stuff. I also can't chin a drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we're getting we're getting some stuff. We're doing we're getting there. All right, we got this big, ugly pile of looks like bamboo cuttings here. But on the top, what do we have, kiddo? Big, ugly bromeliads. Yeah, they're not the prettiest bromeliads, but if we plant these in the ground, they will shoot off little pups or offspring for us. So we will save these from the trash. Yep. All right, we just rolled up on a big bin of plumeria cuttings. Do you see what color this is anywhere, kiddo? Uh, any I idea? Found this. Oh, let me see. It looks like they picked the flowers. Yeah, up. who knows what color flowers this is, but these cuttings look nice and healthy. Look at that. Yeah. Plumeria is another easy one to root from cuttings. So we'll oh, say. It's yellow. It's yellow? Oh, nice. Let me see the flower. You got one? Show it. Just rip it off. So this is like the most fragrant variety of plumeria. It's the most popular also. Yeah. So we will save a couple of these cuttings from the trash. Delicious. You got a big pile of something. Anything? Nope. Nothing. All right, on to the next pile. All right, kiddo, what'd you spot? Rubber tree or ficus. All right, we got some ficus here. Super easy one to root from cuttings. That's a big cutting, too. Yeah. Yeah, all right, we'll save that one. So, unfortunately, our local landscape debris pickup guys, the waste management crews, are hard workers. And even in the rain, they beat us to these piles, so. Maybe they'll sink. Yeah, maybe they will. So they picked up everything on this side of the road. You can see their lights way down there at the end of the street. They haven't gotten everything on this side yet, so we'll zoom up to kind of right in front of them. I don't want to get in their way, but we'll zoom all the way up there and then turn around and see if we can get anything here on this side. Because they've, uh, you hear some more cans right here on the ground. You can see they've already gotten all the cans on this side. Man, those guys got to get up early. Yeah. I think it might be leaves because it's... All right, so there's the truck right there. But we got maybe a variegated smooth agave in here. Oh, it's not a smooth agave. Is it just leaves or is it a whole plant? I can't tell. Just take that stuff out. We can clean up. Leaves. Just leaves? Oh. They tricked us. Bummer, bummer. All right, and they're coming our way now. So we better get going. We'll go on to another neighborhood. Oh, we just got a prize. Black what magic what do we get? Plant. Oh, it's a prize. Look at that. Does it have roots? You got to be joking me. Oh, it does have roots. Whoa. Oh, we are definitely. That weighs like 10 pounds. We are definitely saving that one from the trash. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. So these folks have one of the prettiest yards in this neighborhood. 
They have so many cool plants tucked in here. But one of our favorites that we've been watching for years now is this variegated monstera. Yeah. I wish I could get a cutting of that. I wish he'd set some of that out for us, eh, kiddo? Yeah. Sadly, they're like one of the slowest growing plants yeah. in like the world. Yeah, they are. And, and, and this guy's um, a, obviously a gardener, so I think if he got any cuttings of it, he'd keep them. But we'll keep looking. We'll keep waiting. All right, we just rolled up on a, another beautiful variety of tea plant. Let's see it. Nice. And yep. a vinca. All right, let me see this tea plant for, first. So this is another tea plant that can be rooted from cutting. So we'll save that from the trash. You said you got a vinca there? Oh, it looks yeah. like it has roots. <laughs> yeah, look, that one right on top. See the roots sticking oh, up? What is that? Is that a vinca? It's a vinca. Uh, take the one with roots. Yeah. I don't know if you can plant oh, vincas. Oh, and also, um, non-variegated chiflera. All right, show it to me. Yep, this, this Schefflera you can root from cutting. So we will save the Schefflera cutting and this little vinca with roots from the trash. All right, so these homeowners have like kind of a cool edible landscape going here. It looks like maybe an avocado tree here. We got some dragon fruit right here. This looks like maybe a big loquat right there. Yes. Um, and then I saw when we went around here last time, you can see on the corner of their fence there, they have some sugar cane. Some bananas. Yeah, they have a couple varieties of bananas. More bananas in the backyard, and it looks like a young guava tree popping up right here. And a mango. And a big mango in the backyard. Oh, how cool is that? All right, we both spotted this Holy at the same time. Cow. What is it? Everglades tomatoes. I know, your mom is gonna be so she stoked. Gonna, like, die. Grab the whole, She's just grab the whole bit, grab yes. the whole thing. Bring it over here. Let's show everybody the tomatoes real quick. So this is a, a kind of a tropical tomato variety that grows good in the heat down here in Florida. It'll turn into a big bush and you get these yummy little like uh, cherry tomatoes. So go ahead and pop that in. It's got roots and everything. Oh my gosh, my wife is going to be so excited when we bring that home. All right, looks like we have some Song of India here. With berries on it. With berries on it? Yeah. All right, so this is one we, another one we can root from cuttings. It's this a one, slow yeah, this one takes a while to take um, from cuttings, but you can root it from cuttings. So we will save some of these from the trash. All right, so we made it back. Yeah, we made it back to the house. No thunder we or lightning, didn't sink. and we didn't sink. Yes, we didn't sink. We did take on some water. You can see right there. Also, our roof is a little bent, so it it's looks like it's, sagging. it's filled with water. Yeah, our roof up here is just filled with water, but we did make it back, and I have to say. We did pretty good. Yeah. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, let's show everybody what we got. I guess let's start with what's kind of shoved on top. Sure. This uh, not variegated Song of India. Yes. It's actually kind of rare so, for us to find. Yeah, you're right. We, we usually find the variegated variety. They also grow, but it does, when it roots from cuttings, it takes a long time to, to grow. Yeah, it does. But. You can see this one has berries on it too, so it just flowered. That's probably yeah. why someone pruned it. Oh, we got a lot of that, didn't we? Yeah. Next, right. I think this is the fight of the day. Uh, I think you might be right. This ever Everglades tomato. Yes, this Everglades tomato, and it's got fruit all over it too. I just can't wait to show uh, your mom. She's going to be so excited she about that She is going to like... We, we, we grow this one, um, but all of ours died last year. And uh, we've tried to get more started and we just haven't yet. So I can't wait to show her that because, oh man, and look at all the little tomatoes all over it too. Yeah. They're like- They're so good. Oh yes. They are they're so like, good. Uh, they're like cherry tomatoes, except compressed down. So it's like a little cherry tomato bite. Yeah, they're so with good. all the flavor though. Okay. so good. Ficus. The ficus, the rubber tree. You guys don't know. It doesn't look like it, but I'm getting so wet yeah. right now. So this one is like 100% success rate rooting from cuttings. Uh, that's probably one of the easiest plants you could root from cuttings. You just poke it right in the ground. Okay. What else you got, kiddo? Some green Schefflera. Yes, we got Schefflera. This is a one that's commonly used as a hedge in our area. Comes in two different varieties. I believe we found the other variety. In there somewhere. What's wrong? Yeah, I just found the other find of the day. All right, what is it? The black magic yes, tea plant. Yes, the black magic well, tea plant. Dirty and you it. said we got one of them has roots on it, right? Um, two of them. Nice. Boom. Look at that. And so then, we we look for we look for stuff that we can root from cuttings, but if we can get a plant that has roots on it, we will take that all day long. Well, this one's like. 
10, 20 pounds. Yeah, just rip it out. Nice. Oh, there's two of them on there. Sweet. They both have roots. Excellent. This is such a killer variety, too. We collect tea plants. We collect all sorts of plants, but we probably have like 15 varieties of tea plants. Oh, we got tons of them. That's it. That's awesome. All okay. right. Plumeria. Yes. So we got this plumeria. Yellow plumeria. Yeah, with the yellow and uh, white flowers. Just stick it over there. Like okay. right there, yeah. Uh, super easy one to root from cuttings. Uh, you know, if you've ever bought plumeria in a nursery, I'm sure you know they're... Uh, in a garden store, they're pretty expensive. So for us to be able to find them as cuttings is killer. <clears throat> All right, excellent. We collect plumeria too. We probably have like six or seven different kinds of plumeria. Yeah. Okay. Uh, our our second type of variety of tea plant. Oh yes. Oh, this is a beautiful one. We have one of these. Let's go show everybody real quick. I, I know it's raining. I'll or try and here a boogie board. Cover the. I got it. I just have a, I have a beautiful one of those planted uh, down here. Let's see, where is it? It's right over here. Yeah, here it is, right here. And this yes. is this is one that Teddy and I got from cuttings, that planted from cuttings that we got on the side of the road. And, oh man, look how pretty I that love, one is. I think we only have a couple of them. Yeah, this is one it's of my favorites. Leaf. Yeah. Real quick, while we're back here, I'll just show everybody. Here's another variety of tea plant that we have right here. And then we have another one right here. I think this one is called the Harlequin. Um, this, this is a chili, chili pepper. This is a chili pepper tea plant uh, right we there. We have just normal red sisters. Yep, and then, yep, we have some red sisters right here. Some green. This is the red sister right here. And then this is your classic Hawaiian green tea Love plant. That one. Yeah. All right. We could go awesome. on forever. Let's we could. It's raining. I'm going to get my camera's already getting wet. Let's uh I got to get back under the cover here. All right. What else you got, kiddo? What else yeah. What else you got, kiddo? Um third variety of tea plant. We've got some red sister. I'll bring it to you guys. All right, great. It's pretty pink. Yeah. So we got three different varieties of tea plants today. That's pretty good. All right, I'm stoked. Nice. What else? Bromelias. Oh, they got three dogs. Nice. The rain. <laughs> All right, great. Another like, clean. Like I said earlier, these are kind of sorry looking bromeliads, but if we plant them, they will shoot off little pups they or little offspring. Uh, they'll shoot off little offspring for us, though, and, uh, and then we'll just throw these away. We'll dig them up and throw them away. Sweet. So funny, they got three dogs. Ooh, Dracaena. Oh, yes. We got this Dracaena. This might be the variety some people call the dragon tree. Um, it is. But it is one that is super easy to root from cuttings. All we would do is take one of these cuttings and just rip the bottom couple leaves off and, and literally just poke it in the ground. Um, it's super easy. Is that it? Um, let's see. Nope. What else? One more tea plants. Nice. Um, then we have some Calusia or autograph plants. Oh, great. I forgot yes. about these first plants. Yeah, so this is one that is used as a privacy hedge in our area. It's called the autograph plant. We've said this a million times, but you can use a nail or your fingernail and write your name in the leaf, and it will stay there as long as the leaf stays on the tree. Yeah. That's a common privacy hedge. The only downside to using this as a privacy hedge is these lobed leaves are pretty heavy, and um, in a hurricane, the plants tend to just fall right over. Yeah. But they are fast growing, so you don't have to get it all out of there. Um, we've got this. Oh, yes. And then the, the gold capella. The Chef gold Lara. Cap capella Schefflera. This is the more common Schefflera that yeah. we find. Um, this is the, the solid green variety right here. It, you often, um, also, if it's in like deep, deep shade, it turns kind of green. Yeah, but. Uh, beautiful plant. Another one that's used as like an ornamental hedge in our area. I Clear think that's it. Those bins. are the first ones we yeah. got this morning. Clear both bins. Come Man, on. look at that. Whoa! This looks so cool. Man, we got we we scored today, kiddo. Yep. This bump. Good job. Kay. Everybody out there, give Teddy props for riding around with me in the rain early in the morning. I yanked him out of bed to Three do this. Finds of the day. Yeah. What are our finds that, of the day? That and that. Okay. So you think the Everglades tomato? The 
the solid Sol green Grace. tea plant. No, Song of India. I mean, uh, Song of India, and then this black magic. Black magic. We're gonna tea have to plant. hose off. So if you had to pick one though, what is the find of the day? Everglades. Yeah, Everglades tomato. Yeah. I then agree. it would go black magic, then this. I agree, hundred percent. All right, sweet. I can't wait to show that one to your mom. She's gonna be excited. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, y'all. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed the adventure today. <laughs> the clouds are gray. Yeah, I know. We gotta we gotta wrap this up before the thunderstorms come. Um, if you did, if you have any questions or comments about any of the plants we showed you here today, just post down below. If you did enjoy the adventure today, maybe you'd consider subscribing to our family's YouTube channel. And if they don't, what's gonna happen, bud? Your pirate ship's gonna sink. Arr, like ours almost did today. In fact, she's taking on water right now. We have gotta go get the bail bucket. I don't know where it is. So anyways, maybe avoid um, having your pirate ship sink and just consider subscribing to our family's YouTube channel. Till next time, everybody out there, take care. Bye.